Hello everybody, it's Rabbit for Unbreakable Gamers here. As many of you may be aware, if you follow any of my videos, uh, I'm a senior moderator for a StarMade server that's hosted by craftau.com.au. You can check out the site for more information on our server. Uh, making this tutorial video for Smedit, which is StarMade's unofficial editor. It's a third party program used to turning building ships or outside of the game or converting 3D models into star made ships. I generally use it for hull building and I've had a lot of people ask about how symmetry mode works and how do you import a model and get it completely symmetrical because when you import a model into star made, uh, into Smedit, it doesn't matter it c how symmetrical the ship is and how it looks you'll export it as a blueprint to the game and then find out it's not symmetrical. You may find it looks symmetrical with the naked eye, you let a block here and then you'll find out that the block over here, instead of being in the same place, it will be in the same place, but it'll actually be two or three blocks out from the side. This will help you completely avoid that and ensure you have a completely symmetrical ship. Now, before you get started, I will say, once you've got your model imported, I'll allow you to Google that or look at one of my other videos on Smedit uh, to work out how you do that. It's a good idea to save your blueprint as the default blueprint when you're working. Now, the reason you do this is Smed is a very resource intense program, it likes the memory, and things can go wrong for various bunches of reasons. For example, many friends of mine, when they're using it, the program crashes when they press their talk to speak button in TeamSpeak, regardless of what button is bound to it. So yeah, always a good idea to use it as default. If it crashes, it'll be the first thing that the, the game loads up, it'll load up the last save you did. So onto the symmetry mode. Now what we want to do here is turn on the axis. We do this so we can see where the ship core is. This is going to be very important. Uh, where the lines cross, that's where our ship core is, where this blue dot is here at the tip of my mouse. Might be a bit hard to see. As you can see, the axis line is one block wide, so that encompasses the entire ship core. And with that, we'll get started. Okay, first of all, what you need to do is go edit, select all. Now you can see the entire ship is selected, that's along every dimension. But what we want is we just want the right side here selected up to the green line. We don't want to go over the green line. This ship core position would be 888. So we go edit, select specific. As you can see, that's the dimensions of the entire ship and this will make life much easier because we just go here. In this case, hit nine on the start X plane, click OK and there you go you can see that that's hard up against the green line but doesn't cross over it it's not selected with that selected now we hit delete that removes that half of the ship now we go edit select none modify reflect and we want the port starboard set to true so that when we click ok this will flip the left side to the right side of the uh, axis lines and there you go power then once more we go edit select specific now because we've already got the information set in there we just click OK and that selects what we want now as you can see we've got a thin line of hull going down the middle that so we've got that part of the ship selected and there's a thin line down the middle that's not c covering the ship core and the reason we want to do that is because we just want to copy this part. We don't want the middle because we don't want two ship cores and we don't want two middles. Simple as that. So we go edit, copy, that is now copied, then edit, select none once more, modify, reflect again, just OK again because it's still got our settings saved. Now it usually takes a bit longer to flip back than it does to flip the first time so just bear with it. Uh, it won't take that much longer, but yeah, still a little bit. Especially if you've been doing a lot of work in Smedit as well. It seems like the longer you have Smedit going, the longer it takes. And as you can see, that half of the ship is back. Then we go select specific again. Again, just click OK because our settings are already there. Then we go edit, paste, and kapow. We now have a perfectly symmetrical half of the ship posted here. Edit select none and you now have a 100% symmetrical ship it's as simple as that just go file save blueprint say name it whatever you want 
and then ensure that it's in the blueprint folder of your StarMade install. And this is what I'm talking about here. So you can see the little gap there. It looks a bit wider than that side, but I can assure you this ship, when it goes into game, will be completely symmetrical. And as you can see, when I zoom in and things change, you can notice that it is more and more symmetrical. That's why you can't trust your eye just by importing a model, centering the ship core, and then exporting the blueprint. So yeah, that's how simple it is to make a completely symmetrical ship. And I hope this has been a great help to you. And yeah, stay tuned to the channel for more tutorials and things as I go along. And you all have to take care, have fun. And yeah, if you're in Australia, come and join us on Craft AU and have a great time on our StarMade server. See you later.